it's time to embrace more than just property ownership as we look at 10 objects from the 4 rent expansion pack that you need to start using. As always, we'll look at 5 standout objects as well as 5 objects that I believe to be underused. Let's go! First up is a small group of standout appliances, being the electric kettles and the pressure cooker. The electric kettles are a big step up from similar appliances. For example, while the tea brewer only makes a wide range of tea and coffee machines only make a standard coffee, Sims can use the electric kettle to first boil water and then create a huge range of drinks. This includes all the teas that a tea brewer can make, but also adds on additional teas, being Builder's Tea which drinking grants a strong positive moodlet, and Rainbow Unicorn Galaxy Tea, and drinking this very colourful and sparkly tea will give your sims a playful plus 2 moodlet for 4 hours. It also sparkles and I do like sparkles. On top of this extra tea you'll also be able to make some simple hot water as well as some hot cocoa with or without marshmallows and a wide range of different types of coffee. It really is your all-in-one drink machine for your kitchen, combining multiple appliances into one while also giving you more drink options. Additionally know that electric kettles can also be upgraded to both be unbreakable and never become dirty. As for the pressure cooker appliance, this can be used to make a range of group dishes which will have 12 servings. Just like the kettles, the cooker can be upgraded to be both unbreakable and self-cleaning too. Once you've prepared and popped the food into the pressure cooker, then you'll simply need to wait a little while for it to cook. Then once your meal is cooked, you'll be able to release the steam vent, after which you can grab your delicious meal and dig in. Nom nom nom. Next up is an underused object, being squat toilets. And these toilets are common in many Asian countries. Admittedly the first time I saw one in real life was in Japan and I literally didn't know what to do so I stared at it for a while before going to find a toilet I understood. Anywho, they function just like your regular toilets, only of course your sims will squat to use them. Moving on to another standout object being Tibet the Tiger. And you can't buy this adorable tiger plush in buy mode. Rather to get your paws on this cute little plush you'll need to visit the Sulia Tiger Sanctuary within the Kosafa area of Tomarang. Then you'll need to support the sanctuary by adopting a tiger for 100 simoleons which will see your sim join the cub club. As thanks, a Tibet the Tiger plush will be mailed to you in the next few days. Cub Club members can pat Tibet for a small happy moodlet or even choose to think about the adopted tiger, which is a longer interaction that provides your sim with a very strong plus 3 happy moodlet. So Tibet is great for keeping your sims generally happy and also Tibet is very, very cute, which is pretty awesome too. It's time to go back to looking at an underused object now, being the Tiger Inspector Badge. This is a rather difficult object to get a hold of, and you can get it by sneaking into the Salia Tiger Sanctuary at night. From my experience though, I've only actually managed to find the badge when sneaking in while also trying to complete the final stage of the Seeker of Secrets aspiration. And you actually need to complete the Seeker of Secrets aspiration in order to use the Tiger Inspector badge. Once you've completed the aspiration and gained the Pry of the Tiger reward trait and also have this badge safely in your inventory, then it will become the perfect alibi. With the 4 rent expansion pack, you can start breaking events and break into to other sims houses before snooping around for secrets that you can use to blackmail the sims who live there. Ordinarily if you take too long then residents will return home and catch you sneaking about before then fighting you. That is, unless you've completed the Seeker of Secrets aspiration and you have the Tiger Inspector badge. In which case the residents will return home and be like, hi, how are you doing snooping around my place? Oh, you thought a tiger was here? Well go right ahead and keep snooping. Yes, it's incredibly handy, and you'll even get a plus 3 energized moolet when using the Tiger Inspector badge as an alibi. The next standout that we're going to look at is tassels. There are 10 of these in different colours that you can collect, which can be done by purchasing them from the night markets, digging up sand piles on the small beaches in Tomarang, by exploring the secret cave within Tomarang, and by visiting and sneaking into the Salia Tiger Sanctuary. Now while these can be displayed and provide an environment plus 3 boost, once you have all 10 you can also combine them, which will unlock a really awesome top in cast for your sims to wear. Honestly it's one of my favourite outfits in the game and it's definitely something fun to show off. 
let's go back to an underused object now, being the almost natural springs hot tub. This is essentially a spa, which yes, is in the base game, however this one provides a very different feeling, with a rocky and slightly leafy aesthetic that works really well outdoors in more natural environments. For example, if you have get together then it can work really well at the bluffs, or if you have the Strangerville game pack then it can tie in really well with the rocky terrain in the world here too. Honestly if you place this anywhere outdoors around nature then it'll fit in pretty well. Back to a standout object now, or group of objects, being the air conditioning unit and radiators, as well as the fuse box and a solar and normal water heaters. Air conditioners can be used to cool a space, and radiators can be used to warm a space up. And also know that you can upgrade radiators at level 3 handiness to make them fire safe. What's more is that if you have the Seasons Expansion Pack, then these objects can be synced up with the Thermostat object. When synced, then whenever the thermostat is set to make the house cooler, the air conditioning unit will automatically turn on and the radiator turn off. And when the thermostat is set to make the house warmer, then the radiator will automatically turn on and the air conditioner will automatically turn off. Then there's the water heater object, and placing this on a lot will lower your water bills. However, it'll also change how hot water works. While the water heater is working, so too will your hot water. But if it breaks, then you'll only be able to take very uncomfortable cold showers until it's fixed. Note that this object can be upgraded to break less and to function off the grid. You could alternatively opt for the solar water heater if you like, and this object will never break. However, it'll also only work while it's sunny. Similarly, there's the fuse box, which will lower your electricity bills. However, if it breaks, then all of your lights will start flickering until it's fixed. Also know that this object can be upgraded to break less. Note that if water heaters or fuse boxes are placed on a shared space on a residential rental lot, then they will affect every unit on the lot. But if placed inside a unit, then they'll only impact on the unit that they're in. All in all, these objects just add a bit more realism and gameplay around your water and power, which can add a bit more variety into your usual home life. Now for another underused object, being hopscotch. Sims are able to practice hopscotch or even play hopscotch with others, and this will train up their fitness skill as well as their motor skill for child sims. This can be a fun little activity to partake in, especially at parks or even at high school if you have the high school years expansion pack, and it makes for some really cute moments. Winning Hopscotch will also make your sim highly confident with a moodlet that references High School Musical's Bop to the Top certified banger. And as a High School Musical lover, this makes me very happy. And now the final standout object to talk about are marbles and the marble game ring. Only child sims are able to actually play marbles, and doing this will raise their motor skill. They can practice alone or alternatively play with other child sims as well which can be a good way to make friends. And of course, marbles do tie in well with the marble collection. You'll be able to find marbles by purchasing them online or at the market stores in Tomerang, as well as by digging them up in sand piles in Tomerang and even by having teens and adults search toy boxes. Child Sims can also play for keeps, risking a marble to win a marble, but this is a bit buggy at the moment so I wouldn't say that it's a reliable method of adding to your collection. Finally know that you can store these marbles in a marble jar in order to keep them safe. And now the final underused object that we'll talk about is the sugarcane juice drink tray. And yes, I do understand that I'm kind of scraping the bottom of the glass for this one. After it's bought, it costs 90 simoleons to stock the tray with 6 sugarcane drinks, and drinking these will restore a bit of a sim's hunger while giving them a plus 2 happy moodlet for 4 hours, meaning that it's a pretty easy way to make your sim happy, and it can be great to put out during events to keep everyone in a good mood. Now just before finishing up, there's one object that I want to talk about that I would love some help in figuring out, being the mysterious basket. This object costs 35 simoleons and can be purchased at the night markets in Tomerang. Reading the description suggests that the box is hungry and needs to feed, and you can open the box too, as if there's something you're supposed to put inside of it. But I've tried an insane amount of different objects including heaps of different foods and ingredients like fruits and nothing will actually go go in. It's a mystery that I'm struggling to solve and I'd love your help. If anyone knows then I'll be sure to pin the first answer that I can verify.
And with that, we're at the end. That's 10 objects from the 4 rent expansion pack that you need to start using. If you enjoyed this video, then you also might like my videos just like this focusing on standout objects from other packs. So check them out if you want to. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day. See you later.